So Sachi wanted to know, Walter's World, what are some tips for broke college students to travel or for recent college grads that are also broke to travel? Well, Sachi, I got a few things for you and it starts with when you travel. My first advice to you is don't travel in peak season. You know, that Christmas to New Year's or during the summertime, those are peak travel seasons. That means accommodation, restaurants, flights, they're at their peak prices, so your money won't go as far. So what you wanna do instead is fly in off season or probably better would be shoulder season. So if you're coming to a place like York here in England or you're going to Europe or gonna travel around the US, April and September are shoulder seasons. Why? Well, think about it. April, all the kids are in school. September, all the kids are in school. So there's no families going around. It's just other travelers. So prices are lower for accommodation. Prices are lower for flights and things are open so you can actually enjoy your time when you're there because sometimes you travel in off season like you go to the greek islands in february there might not be anything open you might not be able to get to some of the islands okay so that's something you want to kind of think about okay so do the shoulder season stuff because you don't have a family you're a broke college student you're like look i just got my first vacation time go in late september go in early october to here in england or ireland or wherever your money goes a lot farther okay another thing you really need to do broke college student Sign up for every point program you can. If you're gonna stay at a Holiday Inn, sign up for IHG, That they have their points. You can get a free hotel stay. You're staying at a Hilton property, get their points at Best Western. All those places, sign up for them. Because sometimes you might get bonus points just for signing up, and you'll be surprised sometimes how fast those bonus points can add up. And if your job's gonna send you traveling, yeah, uh, don't forget to put in your Best Western number if you're staying at the Best Western for work, so you can get those points and get some free travel out of it, okay? Same thing, any airline you travel with, sign up for their programs to get those miles, because you know what? Sometimes when you sign up, they give you bonus for signing up, and that can be helpful, all right? And that kind of leads into the credit card uh, issue when it comes to broke travelers, broke college students. Signing up for the right travel credit card can make a big difference for you because some of them, if you sign up, they'll give you so many miles just because you signed up that it might give you a free flight to Europe or it might give you a free flight to California or wherever, right? So think about that and be kind of judicious which with credit card you do sign up with because some, it might be better for you to get you know the cash back. Other ones, if you're gonna be traveling with it, maybe it's you know, no, no transaction fees or international transaction fees and we make sure that you get you know free insurance when you travel. These kind of things can make a big difference in your budget when you're traveling. But I will say this, if you sign up for a credit card with an airline, make sure that that credit card for that airline, that airline flies from the airport near you so that you can fly out from out there and use them because there's no reason for me to get a British Airways credit card when I live in the US, there's only direct flights from like Chicago. That's not even near me, all right? So something to kind of think about when you're looking at that. So that can help you out. Another thing I think is important is um, don't go to destination weddings. Look, I know your friends are getting married and think it's so cool. They're going to do it in Jamaica. They're going to do it in Florida. They're going to do, you know, in Key West. They're going to do Look, destination weddings, look, you only have a limited amount of time when it comes to vacation time, PTO, when you first started working. You only got 10 days, right? So you got to take one over Thanksgiving when you go see your parents, right? And then now you got a couple weddings to go to. Boom. All of a sudden, all your vacation's gone. So you didn't get a chance to spend any money. And now you're going to spend, what, two grand going to that Jamaica wed a destination wedding where you don't get to explore because you have to do all the wedding stuff? Look, just send them a nice check. So instead of, sp instead of spending $2,000 to go to Jamaica for that wedding, send them $200. Buy them a nice place setting. They'll get over the fact that you weren't there. And you can use that time and, more importantly, that money and that vacation time on your own kind of trips. Because that's where I see a lot of my students, when they first come out, they spend so much money at all these weddings that they don't have any time to go do a vacation on their own, okay? So that's a little tip I have for you as well. Now, another tip I have for you is use your PTO, your paid time off, judiciously. Look at the schedule. Are there days that your work already give you off already? So if you get the Thursday and Friday of Thanksgiving off, maybe you take the Wednesday and you fly then. Or maybe they give you Labor Day off. Oh, maybe I take that Tuesday and I go to Costa Rica for a long weekend, right? And so you want to kind of think about when you can kind of place a day off so it turns uh, maybe a three-day weekend into a five-day weekend because sometimes that can happen. Now, another thing I think broke college students kind of miss out on, we all kind of miss out on, is don't forget about close destinations. Because sometimes it's not about, you know, traveling across the country, or across the world. Sometimes you can get really cool stuff relatively near you. So, example, I live in Illinois. 
I could just spend a weekend and going up to the Dells in Wisconsin, do the water parks up there and have a good time doing that, or, or go to Door County, Wisconsin to see the beauty of there, or, or I can head to St. Louis or go to Chicago for the weekend. There's these weekend destinations you can go to that aren't too far from you, so you don't have to spend $800 on a plane ticket. You spend $70 in gas, and you got a new place to go. So look at places in like, you know, a three, four hour radius, five hour radius from where you're going to be living and working that could give you destination for things to see. Also, it makes a good conversation topic when you're talking to people, you're meeting people when they're like, what do people do around here? Where can I go? And you can tell them, hey, there's some cool stuff about two hours north of here, a place an hour south of here, you know, and that, that's one of those things you can get kind of a good bang for your buck and get to know where you're living, which is really important, especially if your first job takes you to a place that you've never been before. My next word of advice for traveling for a bro college student or a recent grad or whatever is don't wait for your friends. Look, you know how your friends ghost you when you want to go out on the weekends or if you want to do something, they do the same thing when you want to go traveling. So if you're waiting for your friend to book their ticket, for you to book your ticket, or you're waiting for that friend to say, yes, we're going to go to England and come to York and have a great time, don't. Book your vacation, book your stuff, have it on there, and then tell your friend, hey, look, I've already got my flight and hotel booked for York. You want to come with me? Here are my dates. And that's what I actually have to do. I have a friend of mine I travel with, and I'm, I'm not a broke college student anymore. I'm a broke college professor. But that's one thing I do with my friends. Like, hey, look, Jeff, here, here's my hotel. Here are my dates. Here's my flight information. If you want to come, come. If you want, no problem. Or if you don't want to, no problem. And then you give them that option. But I'm not going to not travel because I'm waiting to wait for someone. Because that's one of the big mistakes I think people make is when they want to travel and they want to go with friends is their friends eventually don't go. So if you want to travel, make sure you're okay with traveling on your own, because honestly, solo travel when you're a broke college student gives you a great opportunity to make friends. That's why my next tip for you for broke college student is go stay at hostels when you travel. Why? Because you have a lot of other solo travelers that are looking to travel on a budget that are there, and they're going to give you tips. They can be a friend for the day, a travel buddy for a day or two, or go another destination with them, and that can help you learn more about travel at a lower cost. And hostels are a great opportunity for you to really save money and help you travel longer. Because think about it, $150 a night for a hotel or $40 for a hostel, wait, that's three nights in a hostel for one night in a hotel? Wait a minute. Yeah, this is what you got to do because that's another thing is be smart with your money when you're traveling. Find ways to go farther. That might mean picking different destinations, picking destinations where your money will go farther. I mean, if you want to spend a week in Switzerland, the price for one week in Switzerland will give you two weeks here in the north of England, right? If you're thinking about a week in Switzerland, that will give you a month in Brazil. Your money goes a lot farther in different places. So when you're young and broke, be open to going to places, going to South America, going to Southeast Asia, those places, your money will go a lot farther than if you're just going to backpack through Europe or, or go see the national parks throughout the U.S. Okay, so Sachi, I hope this helps you know a few little tips for broke college students for how they can go and enjoy more with a limited budget. If you have other tips for uh, broke college students and travel, please put it down in the comment section below so we can help other broke college students travel the world more or recent grads. Anyway, I wish y'all the best. I'll say bye from here in York, England.